Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and today's video is going to be a pretty quick update regarding some recent software and hardware updates that are definitely going to affect you if you like watching your 4K discs through your PC. Now before we get started, if you do enjoy 4K Blu-ray, Blu-ray collecting, physical media, and movie reviews, please consider subscribing to the channel. Help us hit our goal of 100,000 subscribers here in 2022. Really appreciate it. Now let's get to that news. Now I'm not sure how many of you who are watching this video actually use your PC and your PC drive to play back 4K Blu-rays and watch them you know, through your computer or use a, a, a PC as your sort of home media console for all of your playback on a TV. But if you do, Intel recently made some very unfortunate changes that is really going to affect you. And the biggest change is really that on their 11th and 12th generation CPUs, they're no longer going to be supporting Ultra HD Blu-ray playback. So this change was noted in some recent Intel uh, change logs and deprecations that they were announcing for those 11th and 12th generation CPUs. And it was first reported by Bleeping Computers, which is where I got a lot of this information from. So if you wanna read more, I'll link their article down in the description. But essentially what's happening is they are completely deprecating the SGX technology that allows for the Intel CPUs to be able to read a 4K Blu-ray disc because of the DRM that's on those discs. And the DRM is basically that sort of privacy layer that prevents you from ripping the discs easily. Um, it's also seen on video games and video game discs. It's a very common complaint because usually it does hurt consumers and it usually tends to result in more piracy than if the DRM was removed. But without being able to pass through that DRM and sort of certify that this is a legitimate disc, um, by removing that, you're now no longer going to be able to put in a 4K Blu-ray into your disk drive on any PC that's run with an Intel 11th or 12th generation CPU. So anything that's coming out from here to the future is going to be a complete dead zone for 4K Blu-ray. Now, if you are still using older generation Intel CPUs, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th generation, you can still certainly play back 4K Blu-rays, but a lot of the major software that out there that does play the 4K discs for you on your PC, they're recommending basically that you not update some of the drivers and not update your system, which opens up you know, entirely other issues and vulnerabilities into your PC. So there's sort of this argument, okay, do I not update my system, leave it somewhat vulnerable, not get the latest patches and drivers, but be able to play 4K Blu-rays through my PC, or do I make those updates and potentially lose that ability? And that's something that you'll have to decide as a consumer and, you know, kind of weigh your security risks here with what you're using for your PC playback. But at the end of the day, this really isn't an Intel issue, and I don't blame Intel for making this change. Intel is making the change because the, the software that they're using, and bear with me because I am not like a computer hardware software person, but basically the way I'm reading it is this SGX that they were using, this software they were using to read the DRM on these disks had some vulnerabilities and could have potentially been a security risk for their entire line of PCs. And so assessing some of the recent security risks and the holes that that software left open on their CPUs and on the PCs they were putting them in, they decided to close that loop, close that down, and close up any of those holes which could allow for security problems. So Intel is really doing a good thing for the vast majority of, of PC users out there who obviously don't want computers to have security issues, have any hacking issues, have any vulnerabilities. But they're doing it because of DRM, really. So Intel's doing a good thing, in my opinion. Unfortunate, of course, for all of those who, who use those drivers and uh, playback uh, options that are on the Intel PCs, but they're doing a good thing because they're certainly helping out, you know, I would say the vast majority of people who don't use their PC for 4K playback. But the real culprit here, the real issue is DRM. And if DRM doesn't exist, if the major studios didn't continue to push that, and this is not just movie studios, it's, you know, video game studios as well and video game publishers. You can see it even sometimes with like eBooks and things like that. Like there's just so much uh, lockdown on what you can do with something you own. And there's always been these workarounds, you know, you can certainly rip a Blu-ray or a 4K disc and there's always been workarounds to do that. 
But now that those are getting closed, it's going to be very difficult. Um, I'm sure there'll be other exploits and other ways around it. But in the meantime, it is going to shut down that support. So that's the quick update. That's what's going on. Just make sure if you're upgrading your PC or you use your PC as a 4K Blu-ray player, you definitely need to be aware of this. Do some research into it. Read the article I posted. But again, don't blame Intel. Blame the DRM. Blame the studios. Blame the world for thinking we need this copyright protection on our discs even though we're paying 20 25 dollars to own them um you know you you own them more than you do on streaming but you don't still fully own them um you kind of own the rights to watch them on approved players and approved platforms which is an interesting you know kind of controversy around what ownership means but that's a whole nother legal issue it's been challenged many times but just something to note if you are playing back discs on your pc definitely pay attention to this. So I'd love to hear how many of you this is going to affect, how many of you use a PC as sort of a, a home media console or an entertainment center that runs your house and how this is gonna you know, maybe affect the way that you set things up in your home theater, how you buy discs, are you going to try to pirate more now? I certainly can't um, advocate for that and I wouldn't advocate for that, but I am curious you know, what the initial response is to this news. So. Let me know what you think, read the article, read up on some other sources and uh, leave a comment and let me know how this affects you guys because I am really curious how many of you out there uh, could possibly be affected by this change. So thanks for watching. Like I said, quick video, just wanted to give you this quick little update and explain sort of what's going on and why it's happening and why this Intel news is breaking. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So make sure you follow me on social media. All the other links are in my description, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, plus lots of ways you can support my channel passively or actively through shopping or donations. All of it's very much appreciated, but at the end of the day, the most appreciated thing is you watching this video, and if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. So thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you all soon.